Unlike this fast flow of traffic, Zambia's productivity levels have actually slowed down. And this is as a result of workers that have staged protests over the recent past. Day in, day out, reports of workers staging protests continue to characterize the local media. Unfortunately, this has raised concern among many stakeholders, and this includes the Zambia Federation of Employers, who have called for an amicable resolve to this particular challenge. We strongly condemn the protests. Uh, we want to encourage, uh, where there are grievances, we want to encourage the spirit of social dialogue. That's the only way we can resolve our uh, industrial relations issues. It's not by protesting. You see, e every minute that an employee takes away from work to, to protest, Eh? is affecting production and if we want to build this economy and create wealth which should be shared equitably I think we cannot create that wealth by protesting and the executive director for the Zambia Federation of Employers Harrison Chibanda has called for a review of the minimum wage and better understanding of the provisions of this particular payment it's not only 419, but let's talk about 766,700 kwacha. That is the minimum wage going by the current statutory instrument. And in any case, it is in different stages. There is a category of worker who are covered by the minimum wage, whose total earnings go up to 1.5 million. That's how it is. I think let's, let's read the provision, the minimum wage statutory instrument, and understand exactly what is contained there. So you find a situation where in an enterprise, people at different levels, eh, covered by the minimum wage, are getting different eh, salaries. It is of importance that government and other stakeholders meet to discuss the way forward in establishing how best to handle this particular unrest that has resulted of more people demanding better pace in view of the patriotic front government promising more money in the pockets of workers.